TOEFL listening GIST content. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what a GIST content question tests you on, how to identify these types of questions, what strategy you can use, and we'll finish with some tips and tricks. So what is a GIST content question? What does it test you on? It tests your ability to recognize the main idea in a lecture or to understand the general topic of a conversation. This is pretty straightforward. How do we identify these types of questions? Well, you'll see question prompts that will ask you something like this. What is the lecture mainly about? Or what are the speakers mainly discussing? Or what is the main topic of the lecture or conversation? So what strategy should you use if you see one of these question types? Well, you need to listen to the audio and take notes. You need to read the question, then think about the general topic. Try to summarize your notes into one sentence, and then eliminate incorrect answer options to arrive at the correct answer option. Let's listen to this audio and take notes, so please have your pen and paper ready. Here we go. I didn't see you in class last week. Where were you? Don't tell anyone, but I went skiing for three days. Skiing? You're kidding me. How was it? It was awesome. Honestly, it was the best powder snow I have ever skied, and the weather was just perfect. Was it just you? No, six of us from the club went. Do you ski? I wish. I've always wanted to, and, you know, just give it a try. But I'm always busy when friends go for some reason. I'd love to go one day. The college ski club is open to all students. It's... A good idea to go and talk to them if you're interested. It really is something new that I've been wanting to try, so I think I will. I guess there will be other events this semester? Yeah, sure. Um, last week was a bit improvised, but we took a chance in the snowfall and the weather and it worked out perfectly. I think there is a week organized in the semester break. Sounds great. Like a ski week? Yeah, the club owns a hut and the rates are really reasonable. Just get a group of friends together and join the rest of the members on a week in the snow. I went last year and had a blast. Cool. I know a few friends that could be talked into it for sure. Will you be going? I'm thinking about it. Great. Let's keep each other posted. I'm really excited now, actually. Sure, let's make it happen. Okay, so here are the notes that I've taken. I've divided my notes into two columns, speaker one and speaker two. So now let's read the question. What are the students mainly discussing? And we'll think about the general topic here. And we can see some key words popping up. Now I'm going to try to summarize my notes into one sentence. Something like, the students are discussing the university ski club, its membership, amenities and events. Next, I'm going to eliminate answer options that I know are wrong. They didn't capture the main idea of that conversation. So I'm going to eliminate uh, based on my sentence or what I think is the best summary or main idea. I'm going to eliminate this one here, this one here, and this one here. And so I've arrived at the correct answer option, which is the college ski club. That is what the students were mainly discussing. Let's try it now with a lecture. And before we do that, let's recap the strategy. So listen to the audio and take notes, read the question, think about the general topic, try to summarize your notes into a single sentence, and then eliminate incorrect answer options to arrive at the correct one. Here we go, listen to this audio and take notes. Plato suggested that our soul can be understood as having three parts. That we have a rational part, which he represents sometimes as a human being, sometimes as a charioteer. That we have one called the spirited part, which he represents sometimes as a cooperative horse, sometimes as a lion. And that we have, in addition, an appetitive part, which he represents sometimes as a wild horse, and sometimes as a multi-headed beast. Plato's suggestion is that a certain kind of happiness is available to us if we get these parts into line. He proposes that we are happy when we don't allow the various parts to meddle with each other. 
We must, he argues, regulate these parts of ourselves, put them in order and harmonize them, much like notes on a musical scale. We are often pulled in two directions, pulled in the direction of keeping the internet off and pulled in the direction of checking your Facebook page, pulled in the direction of going to the library and doing your homework, and pulled in the direction of hanging out in your room and talking to your roommate. We're pulled in the direction of what reason tells us to do and pulled in the direction of what our spirit or appetite tells us to do. In regulating this, you become entirely one, moderate and harmonious. So the platonic ideal of the well-structured soul is one regulated by reason in which spirit and appetite are subjected to reason's mandates. Here are my notes. Now I'm going to read the question. What is the lecture mainly about? I'm going to think about the general topic. And I can see some key words here in my notes. I'm going to then summarize my notes into one sentence, something like, the lecture is about Plato's thoughts on the relationship between the different parts of our soul. Next, I'm going to eliminate incorrect answer options. And I'll arrive at the correct one, which is Plato's understanding of parts of the soul is what that lecture was mainly about. Let's finish with some tips and tricks. So, don't note down every word, just note down key words, key phrases, and use shorthand. That is, you're not writing full words or full sentences. Keep your notes organized. Think about how you can divide your piece of paper into categories. Read the answer options last. First, try to guess the answer based on your notes. And of course, practice makes perfect. So you might want to check out e2language.com where you can do lots of practice questions. You can take our mini mock test, which is pretty awesome. It gives you an indicative score and lots of feedback on all parts of the test. Cool, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and share this with your friends.